Welcome to another video introducing you to Construct 3. In this video, we're going to talk about this really handy bar on the right hand side of the screen. This is Construct 3's project bar. The project bar shows an overview of everything in your project, or projects if you've got several open. The overview for the project you'll focus on currently will appear in black, while any others will be greyed out. If you want to view the properties of the project that you're currently working on, simply click the project item in the project bar. That's the item right at the top with your project's name. This will then show the relevant properties in the properties bar over here, but more about that bar in another video. Also, if you right click the project item, you'll get a small menu, which includes the very handy tools sub menu, where you can view things like your project stats, sprite sheets, and any used add-ons. So, other than being a long list of all the stuff in your game, what can you do with the project bar? Well, first and foremost, organization. As your game grows larger, keeping track of all your items can get really tricky. So use your project bar to organize everything properly using the folders. Construct 3 automatically provides you with folders for layouts, event sheets, objects, families, sounds, music, and videos, as well as fonts, icons, and other project files. And the program will automatically assign things you create to the correct folders, though you can move some things around if they're the same type, like moving an audio file from sounds to music. You can even add new objects directly from a folder if you want to. Right-click the folder to bring up some options, and then select Add New. Exactly what you're adding will change depending on the folder that you've selected. If you're not using the free version, then you also have access to subfolders for even more organizational goodness. Again, right click on a folder and select add subfolder. If you right click a specific item in the project bar, your options will vary somewhat depending on the type of item that you're looking at. So here we have a tile map, but if we click a sprite, it's slightly different. However, you can rename and delete most things from this menu, like so. Now, notice that everything in this folder has changed to italics, as has the uh, project name at the top. This indicates there are unsaved changes in our project. So if we go and save, then everything returns back to normal, showing that everything is now up to date and saved properly. Talking of making changes, one more thing to bear in mind is that the only way to delete an item from a project completely is via the project bar. Otherwise, you'll just simply be removing one or more instances from a specific place. If you're looking for something particular in your project, you can use this bar at the top to search the project bar. Even if all of your folders are collapsed to keep things tidy, the search function will display any matching results and the folder or subfolder that they're in. You can also use the project bar for importing new items, including audio, video, and various project files like fonts. Let's say you want to import an audio file. Right click on either the sounds or music folder and select import to open the import audio dialog. This will allow you to pick audio files from your computer and import them into your project. Construct will then convert the files into formats necessary to support all browsers. If you have an item that is in multiple formats in the project bar, it'll be stored as one instance that you can expand to save on space. The import process is the same for your other project files. Right click on the appropriate folder and select import to open up the dialog. The other thing you can do with some of your files in the project bar is preview them. Audio and video files can be played, web fonts can be previewed in their own dialog, and you can even preview SVG files. And that pretty much covers the project bar. If you're looking for more information about objects within the project bar, then have a read through our manual sections on project structure and project primitives. Both links will be available in the description. Thank you for watching and we'll see you for the next video.